Hi everyone, this is Ben at Truly Simple Solutions and today we're going to take a look at the iPad doing a quote with a, the clearest video we've been able to produce for this and we're going to look at the um, and we've got some surprises for you too so we're going to search indirect and that's for indirect hot water tanks uh, we could search toilets or water heaters or anything and I'm gonna you can see here we can add a you know an image for each task and of course all your items and this little uh, info there is pops up a little bit of uh, benefits you might have about a particular job and we'll go ahead and select the 50 gallon water heater this is the visual uh, iPad layout with the logo we've had a different one video where you can select between which is your preferred to show just the parts to show a visual display of the task like this um, showing a main part plus the other parts which I'll select on the iPad and scroll those so you can see the different parts it's a great way to show your jobs to the customer and then they can you know get a better idea of what's going on and then you've got your pricing and if you um, have other things like the steps involved with this you can touch on here and that's going to bring up this to let you scroll through and see these are the steps that are involved to install this this um, particular item or if they've got a lot more than shows here you can view the page and look at a full page of it but for l less the little one works good and um, yeah and then so what we can do is to go ahead and hit the plus sign we're going to add that to the quote and the little minus would let us uh, take it away if we touch that now we're going to say quote and we're going to add a client to this I'm going to choose Jack Sparrow say done now we're not doing the job for him in the Bahamas so we're going to change the job address and we'll select his Los Angeles address and we'll give it a uh, request ID and then we'll go back and look at our quote lines so so far we just have the one item we're going to give a brief description um, and technicians don't always have the best handwriting and some do and some don't and the same with uh, typing may not be the easiest for everyone so we can use this little microphone that's right down here I'm going to be selecting this key install indirect hot water heater and associated piping and they can just do that and it, they might have a little edit sometimes but it's it's pretty pretty good and um, now what we want to do is add a task we're going to add a custom task we can use that feature as well so we're going to just say next we're going to use our custom task number featured this in another video before which I have it set for T99 you can set it what you like and then enter the custom task let's go ahead and use the microphone again install additional piping and connection for heater <laughs> for, for cedar okay for heater so they might have to edit a little but it's pretty Good. Now we're going to put just how many billable minutes that we have for that extra work. Which we're going to say 120. And then we're going to put um, that there's $25 in retail, in material cost. If you want more info on the custom tasks, you can watch the other video on that, which will give you more. But you can see it's just built a job at our current rates. It marked up the material and it's showing it in a code format here. So meaning it's billable minutes and material build. 
and it's just a nice little way to do that. Now we're going to give it a client message for a quote. Use our little microphone. Price includes removal of old equipment, comma, installation of new equipment, testing, and a complete cleanup. Okay, did pretty good. We'll just add the word up. And it even capitalized the beginning of the sentence. I like that. And then uh, we'll look at our quote. And that's how it'll look for the customer. And if we turn it sideways, we'll be able to see uh, a little bit more of the text. Also, if you have quantities more than one, it will show you the information on that. So we're going to go ahead and select the $5,200 price, and that'll select those two items. Obviously, they wouldn't go for the low, higher price, um, though actually we should have a service agreement with that, but for the sake of the video, I will skip adding that so we keep it short. So once it's selected like that, you can either select the email button here, and it will email the quote. In a, and it will look like a regular uh, white background type quote with typed text. But we're going to create an invoice, and you'll see sort of how the quote looks, sort of like the invoice. So I will just uh, not use this mouse. Oh, if you notice over here, now we, we had started with one, and if you didn't notice that, you could back up the video. You can see here's our quote number, um, 30 underscore 100, and you can see 30 underscore 100. So it's added it to the server connected uh, through wireless and then uh, we're going to go and make an invoice invoice has been created Oops. okay I was touching the screen but it's actually the iPad okay here's our invoice and it gave it a new invoice number and it also is referencing that it we can view that quote if we want to jump back to it. And um, so then the customer now, here we are with uh, Jack. And Jack, I just need to get your signature here to go ahead and authorize this work. Alrighty, mate, here we go. Just sign on the line. Looks good to me. Got Jack's signature recorded to our database now. And then let's say some time goes by, you did your work. Notice the little signature has a little orange light here and it's showing authorized. Okay. And then some time passes, we're done. Technician can come here and sign that he's completed the job successfully. This is Joe Blow. So Joe Blow signs for that. And we need to get uh, Jack's uh, payment here. He's going to pay by Visa. And he's going to pay the amount of 58, what's that, 2014. Okay, and now it shows it's paid in full at the top, and uh, we'll get his final signature. Well, thank you all. You did a great job for me. <laughs> yep, that's what we're here to do, sir. And now let's take a look at that invoice. And this is how the invoice, which we can email that invoice, and we can print it to a uh, um, to a printer that iPads can print directly to. Now this is looking at it wide. Let's turn it back horizontally. I mean vertically, portrait. And you can see we've got this, both his signatures authorizing it. We've got our text there, the detail, and then all the fine print, which you can put in your own fine print there and the total for the job, 
showing pay. Looks like a good invoice to me. We'll email that off so the client can get his copy. And you can see it. it's already formulated and it's with warmest regards Joe Blow. And if you want to come in and edit the text, you can just uh, go in here and use the microphone again. And that is uh, basically the uh, end of that. And then we could send that. And what we'll do is we'll say cancel, delete draft, and go back. So that's basically another one of the uh, truly simple solutions and how it's working on the iPad to d create your quotes, your invoices, and tie it all together and keep it straight. And then we can come over here on the server, and you can see here is the quote we created. See, it's the same quote. And we can use the link here to jump directly to our linked invoice, which shows it's paid in full. And we can see on the server we've got Jack's signatures. So it's another Truly Simple Solutions from Truly Simple Solutions. Thank you for your interest in our work, and have a great day.